Welcome to Module 2 for Excel 2016. In this module, you will learn how to navigate workbooks and worksheets. Specifically, you will learn how to search for data, replace data, navigate to a named cell, range, or workbook element, and how to insert and remove hyperlinks. By mastering these skills early on, you will be able to use Excel more efficiently as your data sets grow. With Excel, you can use the Find command to search for text you've entered as data, such as the word January, a specific number or values that are the results of formulas. Bring your cursor to cell A7, which is 2014. Click to select the cell. Let's say you want to find the column for December's temperatures. To easily locate December, click the Find and Select button on the Home menu at the top right, then click Find. In the text box, type December, then click Find Next. This will take you to the cell that says December. You can also reach this menu by typing Control F. By default, this search function only searches within your current worksheet. If you would like to search your entire workbook, you can click Options, then select Workbook on the drop-down menu for Within. Click Find Next. You will be taken to Sheet 2, highlighting the cell B16, which is the first instance you will see the word December. As you continue clicking Find Next, you will be taken to the next cell that says December. You can also see all the locations for the word December at once. To do so, set your search criteria, then click Find All. You will see a detailed description of all the locations the word December is located. By clicking on the description, you will be taken to the worksheet and cell that it is located in. The function for finding and for replacing text is located in the same dialog box. The replace command differs from find only in one way. It adds a text box for the contents you intend to insert in place of any matches Excel finds. This way, if you misspell a name throughout a workbook, you can correct it once and have that correction be reflected everywhere. Click on the Replace tab. Let's replace December with the abbreviation DEC and choose Replace All. Close the dialog box. To undo the changes we just made, click on the Undo arrow at the top left of your screen. Return to Sheet 1. Let's play around with some of the shortcuts. Press Control End to move to the end of the worksheet. Press Control Home to move to the beginning of the worksheet, cell A1. Click in the Name box. Type A4. And then press Enter to make the cell active. The cell that says year will be highlighted. Now let's check out control arrow shortcuts. These allow you to move to the start and end of data ranges. Press control down arrow to go to the last row of data, which is row 41. Press control right arrow to go to the last column of data. You can also use the vertical and horizontal scroll bars to navigate from the beginning to the end of the data. Another way to navigate through worksheets is with Go To command. For this example, let's say you always want to come back to the temperature for March 2004. Click the cell D17, which highlights this temperature. To the left of the formula bar is the name box. Delete D17 and type in March 2004. Press Enter. You just created a nickname for this cell. Now select any other cell. To easily go back to the cell for March 2004, click the drop-down menu in the name box. 
Click on the arrow and select March 2004 to be taken to the cell D17. Navigate to the Find and Select menu in the Home tab and click Go to Special. If you'd like to be taken to the last cell in the dataset, click Last Cell and then OK. Let's hyperlink the title of this workbook to the NOAA page for the Vostok station. Select cell A1, right-click, then click on hyperlink. In the address box, type or paste the URL for the NOAA site for the Vostok ice core data and press OK. Now, when you click on cell A1, you will be taken to this site. To delete the hyperlink, right-click and select Remove Hyperlink, or press Undo to keep the hyperlink.